All right, now we can work on the reflection here underneath this line here, right? So first of all, let's make sure we have the same sky as the background. So let's select both of these layers, press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate this and move this up above this layer. And if we press right mouse and create a clipping mask, it's gonna go inside this, this uh, puddle of water. Now let's flip this horizontal, vertical, sorry, and move this down. And we only want to use the sky from this, so only this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make it real big like that. So we don't see these, these mountains in the background. I don't want to have those in the, in the reflection, just the sky. So we have the same color and the same, same kind of clouds there. So make it a bit bigger like that. So it fits this image and that is pretty much it for this water sky right now now we can do some work on the line so i have this image i already removed this background as you can see here so i'm gonna make a smart object first and move this here now we also want to make sure it's inside this this reflection so first of all let's flip this vertical like that and now also just create a clipping mask so it stays inside this selection. And now we can make this smaller. And you can see here, it's not gonna fit. So we need to resize this a bit or else we're gonna lose the top part of this line. So let's first try to make the right size. So this line needs to be a lot bigger than this little cup here. So I think something like this would be fine. And now we can move this a bit up. So I'm going to select this layer and let's also make a bit smaller, maybe like that, move them a bit up. And also these layers from this water puddle and everything that goes inside this. So let's move this up like that, something like this. This would be nice. And now make sure that we don't see these white areas here. Let's see. Is this one let's select this area here press ctrl backspace to fill this all right so now this fills the image so this is fine all right so i have um a file that i created i will link this video up in the screen to create water reflections better than this this is just a copy of the sky right but we need to make sure the sky is like reflected in the water with some movements so for this, I'm going to go to filter, distort, and select this place. And here I'm going to select a file that I created before. I will link this video, how to create this file in the description. So you might want to watch that video first before you do this, if you want to make this really cool. All right, so let's go from here and here I'll probably, let's do 1020, press okay. And here I have this file water replacements. And this is how this file looks. And you can create this with this other video that I linked in the description. And if we use this for the water reflexes, it's going to make the water reflections look real, right? So for the sky, probably you won't see it much, but if we do it for this line here, let's go to distort this place again and select this file again. And you can see here, we get these water movements, like it's really reflecting in the water. So this will make the image, the water reflection look more real. The next thing I want to do here is to make the details better because we have like this side of this line is dark, but we don't have it here yet. But I cannot create a curve layer here and only affect this layer because it goes all the way down. Right, so let's first release the clipping mask of this one. You don't even need that here actually. And create a curves now on top of this one. Press this and now we can affect this layer. And let's make them dark first. Just like the same range as this one. And select this mask here. And let's brush one side back again. Make sure to bring the opacity and flow all the way up again. And let's brush one side lighter. It doesn't have to be perfect here because this is just a reflection. But these are little details that I like to do into the image. Maybe a bit here. Because this line is like vertical, you don't, you won't see it really much, but 
if you want to make everything perfect you can also do that if you want to so this i think this is fine right so before it was a bit lighter and this is a bit darker let's make sure these areas are light here just like that maybe a bit less let's add some water movements in this puddle here so for this i'm just going to use an image like this one and hold on shift to flatten it a bit like that so it goes in the same direction as this water and now press ctrl i to invert this change the blend mode here to multiply right so this is fine and now we can make this a bit smaller so we don't ruin the image with this make sure this center is like at this ball like that and let's make a mask and brush a bit of these areas away on the sides so for this i'm going to use a normal brush here and make sure it's black and get rid of that get rid of that here here we don't need this much just a little bit of this movement will make this look more realistic of course it's too black now so you can just drop the opacity here to really low something like this maybe even remove it here just a bit of these movements and now i can maybe even make this bigger so something like this is fine it's a little detail that you can barely see but i like to have all these details in this image so this is fine i want to make this water puddle more realistic when it touches the the ground here and here right so for this i'm going to make a new layer underneath the the layer of this selection and above the ground so here i'm going to create a new layer and here i just gonna select the mist brush doesn't matter which mist brush you use or a cloud brush whatever and pick something like this as a color something like the area here right change the blend mode to overlay and let's make this smaller and let's brush a bit of these areas this color so this is like the water was there but it got dried out right so this will make it look a bit more real instead of this harsh one color to another just a bit more blending here maybe it there don't do it too much just a little bit and this you can see here the difference it makes it look a lot better and you can even drop this if it's too much like that so i think this this looks fine let's do some final adjustments to this first of all this line here needs to be the same color as the cup so i'm going to use the hue situation here and drop a bit of this color that's it and the background we can make sure to rasterize this background layer if you have a smart object and for this i'm going to add some blur and lens blur just a little bit not much to get more focus on this cup here all right so that's it now if we go all the way up create a new layer press command or Control alt shift e so we duplicate all these layers into one convert this to a smart object then go to filter camera raw and here we can do the settings to make this better now maybe we can make this a bit darker let's give it a bit more contrast bring up the highlights let's leave the shadows like that and some white let's see the blacks let's make it a bit lighter now if we drop the texture we get the soft effect and we increase the clarity to don't don't get rid of the details and let's see if we can do this let's leave those now let's move on to details give it a bit sharpening and do some color changes here now let's move these around to see if this will make the image look better so maybe a bit more orange like that like that and these are probably nothing only the sky here let's leave that let's go to situation and also try to make this better let's see maybe this maybe a bit more color like that that's it luminance let's make the yellows lighter so just a bit to the right all right moving on to optic let's give it a bit of a vignette so we have all focus on the center and also this one just a little bit 
and next one is calibration and here we can change the mood of this image a bit so let's try to play around with these sliders to get some nice colors i think this is fine maybe a bit more to the right like that press ok and that's it for this one and you can see the difference here it, it looks a lot better now all right next one is to add a color look up on top of that one and here i'm gonna select tree strip and this will make the colors really pop out but let's drop the opacity all the way down to say something like 10 percent it's just a little detail it makes it better right so this is fine now the next thing we could do is to create a new layer again and press command alt shift e let's convert this to a smart object and go to blur and select let's see blur gallery field blur and here we can set the blur amount that we want so here i don't want to blur anything oh and if i hold down alt and place them here they're gonna copy the settings so i don't want any blur here here i only want blur let's do blur here so on this side Let's not do it too much, just a bit blur on the bottom here. Let's see, let's not do his face. Only the bottom parts here. Let's leave those at zero. Right, so only here. A bit around this, this head. You can't even see it probably, but it's just a little thing I like to do. You can also even do here. Let's do zero there, zero there, zero there zero there and just a bit here on these sides like that maybe one here something like this right so this is fine and we see all these dots here and this will give the image another extra effect that makes it better so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one